Okay, we got a mad scientist here making batteries out of lemons. Fruit power. Tell us what you're doing here. What you got? Well, what you want to do first with these wires, mm -hmm. connect. Uh, okay, well, like, before you even connect them, what do, we, what do we have there? Uh, this is lemon one. Okay. And. What do you have in lemon one? We have. Uh, we have a zinc galvanized nail uh -huh. on one side and a copper post on the other. Okay. And you do that with each, with each one. Okay. You have how many? Four. Four. Okay. And and how much how much power did you get out of each one? Out of uh, out of the first one we got point nine six. Point nine six what? Volts. Okay. And. And the second one, we got 0.92 volts. Mm -hmm. Third one, 0.98 volts. Okay. The fourth one, 0.98 volts again. Okay. And then total voltage we got was 3.84. That's when adding but, those together, right? Yeah. But? But the detected voltage out of the voltmeter was 3.52. Well, what's the difference? What's the difference between... The added voltage and the total direct or uh, detected voltage. Well, um, the total voltage we added it together without using the voltmeter with the calculator. Right. We used. Okay. And the detected voltage. What was that? What do you mean the detected voltage? The te detected voltage. We used the voltmeter. We connected them all up. Okay. And we um, and the voltmeter said it was three point five two. Okay, volts. so that's when you connected them all together. Okay. All right. Good. So go ahead and. Connect them so, all together. Well, this is what you do with the wires. You connect the zinc galvanized nail, and then um, the next lemon beside it, connect the other lead of the wire to the copper post. Okay. And then you take another wire and do the same thing mm -hmm. to this one. And then do it again to the fourth one. Okay. Then what? So, next thing that you do. You take two wires that are just regular hanging out, so we already have these set up. Take these, and then you connect one end. So, you already got those. Let's go ahead and leave those there. Yeah. You connect uh, these two ends to... Um, what do you got inside there? You have a LED. LED light? And you connect the end of one to one these post, wires. one to the other, right? Yeah. Okay. So then you take these two other unconnected posts and you connect one to the copper post on, on the unconnected one and then to this last galvanized nail and it should come on. Well, look at there. And it's on. See, pretty neat. And there's like a mock-up of one of your lemon batteries. Mm-hmm. Positive is the copper side, huh? Yep. Negative is the zinc-coated nail side. And we um we we um didn't use the copper coils because it because the copper post has more surface area in it. Good. Alright, so you got the copper post, copper coil. You got the zinc, uh, zinc post, basically a zinc coated nail, and an LED light. And, and what's all of this stuff over here? This is your data. Yep. And the second test that we did, mm -hmm. we got out of lemon one, we got forty. Mm -hmm. Lemon two, we got forty-five. Mm -hmm. Point four five. And then. Lemon three, we got point forty three volts, 
Eleven four. We got point forty two volts. Total of. And total voltage we is what we added up. We mm -hmm. got one point four. I mean one point seven zero volts. Okay. And the detected voltage was one point seven two. Okay, and detected voltage is when. Is when we use. Connected the volt them all meter. together. Connected them all together and use the voltmeter to te right. test. And you, you use the voltmeter on each individual one, but you didn't have them connected together. So the total voltage, the detected voltage, is going to be when you have them all connected together. And in this last one, the one that's running that light right now, originally we got 3.52 volts. Okay, let's go ahead and leave that there. All right, why don't we do this? Why don't you disconnect the light? And see what your combined voltage is right now. Good idea. Since it's been on and off and so on, we can figure out what it is now. What it is now. See if we use some of the power away. So the detected voltage was 3.52. Mm -hmm. Remember that. And we used the Let's go and put those light away. a couple oh. of times. Oh. No, you're testing voltage, right? So what are you doing that? What are you putting those together for? I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna do that. Yet. Wait. Oh, okay. So, take a, this one, this is a positive, and this is negative, then we turn it on, and if you have the same kind Flip of uh, meter, Flip there you go. we have the same kind of meter, um, turn it to DCV 20, and turn it on, and what do we get? Yep. Hit the backlight button. Wait, wait a second. Hit the backlight button. There you go. So that's good. 3.65 it looks like, huh? Yep. So it looks like either so, it's gone up or maybe it's just, you know. Yeah, I think it went up. Definitely had yeah. to go up. Looks like it went up, but probably because it's maybe more juice coming out of it. And here's a little diagram of how they're put together. The red is what? The red... <laughs> Is the copper uh -huh. post? And that's positive, isn't it? Positive, and the silver mm -hmm. is the gal zinc galvanized nail, Good. which is nail. Pretty then, cool. So connect these two together. Don't connect these to the light. Mm -hmm. and then take this. You connect it there, mm -hmm. and then take this. Take a wire and connect it there. Right. The tip of a regular light bulb is negative. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Right. Pretty cool. Take a bow. Take a bow. Or Thank curtsy, you. whatever. Thank you very much. <laughs>